everybody! Welcome back to Three Little Masters. In the last video, we taught you how to make a Bitmoji. So in this video, we're going to be teaching you how to make a Bitmoji room. So before we get started, please subscribe to our channel and click that notification bell to get notifications whenever we post a new video. Let's get into the video. First, to be able to use Bitmoji in, t in Google Drive, you have to download it to your browser first. So search Bitmoji and go to bitmoji.com. Then it should pop up like this Bitmoji or personal emoji with lots of Bitmojis. Then you scroll all the way down. So press on the Chrome icon. And it shows here in the Chrome Web Store. Then you can press here in this blue button. It says Add to Chrome. Click that. Then it says some things that Bitmoji can do. Just, and then you can press down here. This white button with blue text that says Add Extension. It automatically opens up another tab and goes to bitmoji.com. If you are logged in, it will say that you're logged in, but then you will have to log. If you're not, if you're using this for the first time, you will have to log in. Then it shows this. Also, if you go up to this puzzle piece, it should say extensions. And these are just, this is Bitmoji. You should see it here. Now let's create the Bitmoji room. I am making a kitchen, but you do not have to do the same. You can do whatever you like. First, go to your Google Drive. To create a Bitmoji room, you're going to press this new button, and then you should select Google Slides. It will create a presentation for you. Next, you're going to go to the layout and choose blank. You're going to select what type of room you're going to do. And based on that, you're going to select a background. So here we have a bunch of walls and floors. And I think I'm going to... And here you can choose whichever one you like. So I'm going to choose this. And since Bitmoji rooms are your own imaginary rooms, you, are, you can do whatever you like. So I'm going to... Once you've selected the background, going to press insert and done and it has the wall and floor here looks a bit boring so I'm going to come up here to insert image and here we have some options so uh, either you can upload from the computer or search the web I don't really like search um, uploading from the computer because um, when they say that they're transparent it always doesn't mean that they're going to be when you upload them in. So I like searching on the web. And the reason that we need transparent backgrounds with their images is so that it will look like actual, um, like an actual house and furniture because no furniture has a white background around them. So I'm going to come up here and I'm going to search for a countertop and I'm going to search for trans. And background and here we have some nice countertops I'm going to um, use this one once it um, is selected there should be a check mark next to it and a blue bar underneath that says selected and then you're gonna press insert now it creates us a countertop if it's too big just resize it too small and then drag it wherever you like. Now go up top here. And if you click this puzzle piece, it give, you should press Bitmoji. And then I'm going to search cooking. And I'm going to choose this one. You can choose whichever Bitmoji you like. Now, Here's me. Gonna make me a bit smaller. 
and get a little bit bigger. Okay, now we are done with our, um, so we've added our Bitmoji. Now, I think I'm gonna add some more images and to make it look more like a kitchen. So I'll see you when I'm done. My oven and my sink place is done. Now I have made, I have added all my furniture, the oven, the countertop, my bitmoji, and the sink along with some dishes and cupboards, more cupboards, and a fridge. Now my kitchen walls look a bit boring. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a picture frame. So what you want to do to make a picture frame is you don't need transparent background images because the picture frames are not clear in the background. So if you want, you can upload a picture from the computer. Do this so I have this. It's really big and it goes over everything. Let's kind of crop that a bit. And then we have a frame, but it doesn't look like one because frames have outlines. So we're going to select the image so it has like a blue box around it. Then we're going to press this pencil with, with this pencil icon that says border color. Then we're going to choose the color of the border. We're going to choose our red. And then here we come over to the icon next to it, which is border weight. And for frames, I like eight pixels to 12 pixels. Eight pixels seems good. And now we have a picture frame. So I just added this. Now I'm going to add some stickers because people have stickers on their fridge. I'm finished with my Bitmoji kitchen. I think it looks really nice and now I'm going to put it in present mode so you guys can see it better. So if you want to send this to a friend, family, somebody you care about, if you want to surprise them um, with your, uh, if you want to surprise them with using their, making their Bitmoji and making somebody is making a room that they like you can make it a file um, download and you can choose which one works best for you i think i'm going to make it a png image and it takes a few seconds to download so now it is saved i hope you liked the video and if this was something that you are wondering to do for a long time i hope you have find, you have learned how to do it and thank you for watching please subscribe goodbye